Welcome to your typical cloud. In this short video, I will guide you through how you can easily connect your Salesforce to your NetSuite application. We will follow a few simple steps in order to provision your connectors, create the connections, import a sample pack, and in the end, I will show you how you can use lookup tables to make sure both of these applications are perfectly in sync. So let me open up typical cloud integration and going to the integration apps. This will open up the Tibro Cloud Integration Dashboard. As a first step, we have to provision the connectors to the platform. So let me go to the marketplace where you can browse through all the available connectors to the TCI Connect platform. So as you can see, we have a list of various application connectors as well as technology-driven connectors. But today we want to create connections to NetSuite and to Salesforce. So let me click on the NetSuite icon and press enable to enable the connector to the connect platform. And I will do the same to Salesforce. And as you can see, the connector has been now been enabled to the TCI Connect platform. As a next step, we want to create connections. So let me go to the connections tab on top. I press create to create that new connection to let's say Salesforce. This will open up a pop-up asking me some details about the name of the connector. So I can say this is Salesforce. It asks for my username, password, and security token. And let me press OK test to, to start testing the connection. The connection test has been successfully completed and I can press OK to save the connection to my organization. And let me do the same to my NetSuite application. So let me press create again and create a connection to NetSuite. This will ask me for the same information about the name of the connection. In this case, it will ask me for an account ID, my username and password. and maybe some additional parameters if these are available to me. And then we press test again to start testing the connection. So the connection test has been completed successfully and I can press okay to save the NetSuite connection. Every application can work a little bit differently. In one application, one, two, three, four can be presented as ABDC. In order to overcome this issue, we can utilize lookup tables. NetSuite uses a different form for a country, um, has a different format for, for displaying countries. So we provided a lookup table for you to utilize in this integration need. So let me open up the lookup tables. I can create a new lookup table within the platform. I can call this country codes. And let me click on append to upload the file that is included within this pack. Let me press complete to start importing the values. And as you can see with the ISO notation and then NetSuite notation as, they, as how they would like to see the values for the countries. And let me press okay to save the country code lookup tables. If we go back to the dashboard, we can create a new solution or a new application to start working on the Salesforce to NetSuite application or integration. So let me press create import and let me select on a schedule on TCI Connect. This will generate a new application for us. And of course I can give this a proper name. So I can call this Salesforce and NetSuite integration. Click on create a new flow or new flow and then import. And now browse for the download file included in the pack. This will generate a new flow called imported salesforce.com accounts to NetSuite customers. If I open up the particular flow,
it will exactly show you all the steps that are being performed for this particular account to customer integration. You can see we're querying all the Salesforce accounts. For each of those accounts, we will perform a lookup onto the NetSuite customer object. And if we find a match, we will update the NetSuite customer. But if we don't find a match, we will just create a new customer. And if I open up the create block as an example, to show you some of the field mappings that are included within this sample pack. As you can see, we performed a couple of basic field mappings for you out of the box. So the address street to the billing street on Salesforce, and same for some other fields as well. If you look closely on the country, we're utilizing the lookup tables to make sure that the country is presented in the correct way how NetSuite likes to receive the country. Let me press OK to go back into the data flow designer. Let me remove the import notion for the flow. Press apply and press OK to save the job. As you can see now, the solution is preparing. Let me go back to the dashboard until the solution stop preparing. The solution is now up and running and can be run on a, on a touch of a button by pressing run now. But if I reopen the application, I can also go into the scheduler and I can make this a recurring job to run so many days, so many times, however I want to. Thank you for watching. Try for yourself by exploring our 30-day free trial. Thank you.